We are Team Vyad of Sales VIT from Vellore Institute of Technology, India. We are a group of 30 undergraduate students hailing from different domains of engineering with an aim of building and testing Martian robot prototypes. Our team is further subdivided into seven sub teams, namely the chassis and suspension, science, autonomous, robotic arm, PCB, PDB, GCS, and the management. We now present to you our rover Vyad 4.0 for the URC 2022. To provide additional damping to assist the rover in traversing rough terrains, polyurethane beach wheels are used which have lightweight and low pressure characteristics. The tyres' low pressure act as a supplement to the suspension system by absorbing a portion of shock waves during traversal. To mount the motor inside the wheel hub itself, we used a custom built hub that ensures a compact design of the rover. To assist the rover in traversing complex and uneven terrains, a modified double wishbone suspension has been designed. Control arms and dampers provide an initial joint angle for both the control arms concerning the chassis in a no-load condition which depends on the rover's weight, wheel configuration and the centre of mass of the rover. Ground clearance of 230mm is provided to make sure that the rover maintains a proper stability with an aid from the damper spring. The robotic arm design for URC 2022 builds upon the existing model of the arm, featuring a redesigned gripper at the wrist with a jack screw mechanism for more precise and intricate maneuverability required for the equipment servicing mission. The arm has been fabricated using four DC motors and two linear actuators, providing the arm with 60 degrees of freedom and enables for a higher load bearing capacity and backlash prevention. In addition to these improvements, the forearm and shoulder movement is made more supple with the introduction of linear actuators into the design. In accordance with the competition task, the robotic arm has been simulated in Arves and Gazebo using a custom game movement package generated using the Movit setup system. Motion and trajectory planning have successfully been implemented using the Movit motion planning framework. The URDF model of the arm has been acquired from its respective CAD file made using SolidWorks with the assistance of a third-party software. Point cloud generation has been used to map and determine the coordinates of the object to be inspected with the gripper, in addition to IMU, ADXL and MPU sensors to provide close loop feedback to the arm. This year, the electrical team's focus has been on revamping the system for increased modularity, reliability and safety. 3D modeling and printed circuit boards have been implemented for streamlining control and making the systems compact and organized. High power demands of uneven terrain and extreme retrieval and delivery can be met using an implementation of the power distribution board. Integrated cooling fans over voltage and reverse polarity protection has been used with the drivers to prevent overheating and failure of the drive system. Emergency kill switches have also been installed in case of unexpected system failure. We are using full eco batteries to power various subsystems of our rover. Arm Cortex based STM32 microcontroller is responsible for precise rover control. The custom battery monitoring system has been interfaced with the STM to relay back the battery status. Feedback based control system using wheel optical encoder has been implemented for seamless tele operation. Among ZUI, CLI, and wave interface, the latter one is more easy to use and efficient. We have enhanced our wave UI to increase readability and efficacy. Every subsystem has custom made ROS packets to control and receive data from it. Our control system receives feedback from every critical component to ensure all the module is working fine. Our video feed system has been augmented by two IP cameras, which employ SEVC compression of full SD video streams, giving us better quality while minimizing the network congestion. To view larger area and get better understanding of the surrounding, we have used PAN and TV functionality. The communication between the rover and the base station uses 2.4 GHz frequency band. The sector and omnidirectional antenna gives better communication between the rover and the base station. The science band focuses on performing in situ analysis using a variety of techniques to search for various biomarkers of life. This year, we extensively redesigned the soil tank. The sample processing will be done in two stages. A customized auger is utilized to collect and transfer soil. To a custom-made pallet, it is then subjected to an array of sensors attached to the sliding board in the first level for pH, temperature, carbon dioxide and thermal imaging to detect heat signatures of organisms. At the second level, chemical analysis is done to quantitatively detect biomolecules such as nitrogen, phosphorus and starch. Digital microscopy is used to assess soil properties such as particle size, texture and water retention capacity. It is also used to search for endolithic life forms to distinguish between extant and extinct life. A customized onboard spectrophotometer with a spectral sensor is used to detect the presence of atomic elements and organic compounds from the spectral output. The autonomous subsystem is mainly split into navigation and search. For the navigation of the rover through all kinds of terrain, we've made use of multiple sensor fused data, which includes the RTK GNSS that gives us up to centimeter of precise localization, along with the IMU sensor and the Kinect sensors. We've also made use of two monocular IP cameras that gives us the depth image of the terrain the rover is in which is then used to obtain the point cloud of the terrain. This is then used in integration with Ross's navigation stack to obtain the obstacle cost map for the rover. The custom GUI is used to specify multiple waypoints to the rover and upon reaching the coordinate, the rover enters into spinal search mode to detect the AR markers or to pass through the gates. This is done in integration with Ross's ALBAR package.